dorks. <laughs> Oh, yes, we are dorks, and I do have some really dorkular music. <laughs> wow. Do you ever? Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel so much younger all of a sudden. I wonder why. Like about 12. <laughs> oh, music is a bit on the overdriven side there. <laughs> just entirely too much fun we got him at last <laughs> yes we did yes we did music dude and i i think you got him with that one <laughs> <laughs> i done so, good uh, where are we what are uh, you doing we are at the dork table here on real liberty media.com channel three and also on the rlm radio uh dot xyz site and <laughs> rlm spreaker channel and later to be on rlm youtube and from what i understand from my cohort in crime uh mm -hmm. we're quite entertaining <laughs> oh yeah i was bragging to mary about old shows uh, very funny that that flash guy very funny guy <laughs> yeah boo boo <laughs> You're not so bad yourself there, little missy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, you dirty girl. <laughs> no, anyway. oh, not yet. I haven't started playing in the dirt yet today. <laughs> it's it's coming to fruition. Trust Ooh. me, I know things. Fruition. Hey, anyway. hmm. Do we get to say hi to all the RL and Yes, we do get to say hi to all the RL and people. But it's first, but yeah. first, there's more. But wait, there's, there's more. But wait. I'm, I'm trying to find a rainbow over here on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could have gone with cool, but cool seemed to be kind of the opposite of what we're doing. Well, yeah, we ain't the cool kids, but. No. Jesus Christ. I hope not. Or maybe we are the cool kids. It's just that nobody's recognized no, it yet. No, I'm sitting oh, bad, bad juju. Ooh. Okay, so what do you got to okay. do before you say it? Uh, uh, what I got to do? Well, I had to retweet the RLM and um, and um tweet uh, that we are alive. Yeah, that. And okay. yeah, I'm losing stalkers. I must be uh -huh. really good at turning corners. Yeah, That's just all I there lose, is to it. When I lose stalkers, you tell me I must be hitting a nerve. Ah, Maybe I that am. Just secret Ooh. code for nobody likes you. Why don't you take some, you know, poison and go lay down and go to sleep? <laughs> oh, hey, did you know you don't learn to walk by following rules? You learn by, you learn by, uh, oh, trying and falling over. Yeah, that's Richard Branson. <laughs> Okay, now yeah. that now that I've seen yeah. that and shared that little tidbit, I'm going to close Twitter because, hi, Twitter, yeah. oh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to close it because the last time I refreshed it, there was a freaking mm. picture of a woman standing there um, yeah. with nothing but a freaking vagina slash clitoris, and it was it was a what? sans a pubes thing? outfit thing. Was, I mean, it was, was a full body thing, and it's like, oh, good Lord, woman, you're wearing that out in public? Jeez! Oh, the, the, the fluke. Oh, it was gross. It was freaking it gross. Sounds, it sounds just like the fluke. Well, it ruined the seaside for me because she was right there by the water, and it's like, oh God. Well, you're still talking about it, so it couldn't have damaged your mind too much. Yes, it did. It totally traumatized me, and that's <laughs> why I'm still talking about it because I'm traumatized. <laughs> I tell ya. She's seeing pussy. Oh Lord. Walking around with legs, it's it's scary. <laughs> wait a minute. You're what seen I'm cannot be unseen. Hey, wait a minute. I'm the man in this pair here. I'll tell you when pussy's scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, you just you just go ahead and start judging. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Over here on the effing site, that Freedoms Network oh, place. Sorry. Yeah, uh, Java sorry. Doctor's here, and Katie Troxel, and oh, Grimmy, God. and me, Katie. and Michael. Michael. Yeah. And is, is, Mort, is Mort there with you all? And Mort? Mort, Mort, Mort. Mort decides if it's good. Mm. No, no Mort. Mort, 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 Mort. I got it. I got it. Oh, holy crap. And mine's just refreshed, and there's a woman with her boobs hanging out. Good God. Uh, 
I told you, boobs run everything. See, I was right. Okay. Hey. It's scary. It's scary, I tell you. I'm going to go over to the Real Liberty Media page because, yeah, that's not nearly as scary. Boobs are scary. Hmm. No, well, other I've women's boobs hanging out right there on the screen in my face is like, no, I really did not want to see that. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's like. Uh, don't Whoa. worry, I'll take one. I'll take this one off your hands. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. You'll I'll, take one I'll for the team, the eh? Uh, yeah, you're so you considerate. Right. That's what I do. <laughs> I take them for the team when it comes to boobs. <laughs> it's in my contract. All righty. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Okay. So um, over on Minds. Yeah. Grimmy shared us over on Minds, and I just reshared hey. it. So yay. Yeah. Yay. Thanks, Scripter. Yes. Thanks, Grimmy. Um, I don't know if there's anybody over here. Oh, Harriet is over here, and she's sharing all kinds of way cool stuff about dandelions yeah. and how healthy they are for you, and uh, chaga mushroom that's also supposed to be very healthy for you. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a tree fungus, and it's a medicinal powerhouse. Sweet. Um, <laughs> other than that, there's really not a whole hell of a lot going over on Facebook because, well, you know, there's... Nobody's over there anymore. They're losing their numbers. No, they're not. <laughs> no, what's actually going on is no, um, they fired Sorry. they fired a whole bunch of their bots because mm. you know overhead <laughs> issues and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> they're cutting back on electricity. So yeah, they fired their bots. Pretty much. Wow. <laughs> Call me mean. <laughs> Well, you're you know more about computers than me, so uh, 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 hey you're Beetle, I see Beetle over here. Okay, oh. uh, over here in the RLM, which is where you need to be if you want to give us static, because yeah, we we. Oh, see, there's some static right there from that Jewy bastard. <laughs> hey, don't make me throw my yarmulke. Off. <laughs> Okay. In any case, right up top, we got Barman. He's the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. And then Grimner and Moose Girl. Grimner and Moose Girl. Grim and Moose. Grim and Moose. You must say it like Boris and Natasha. Grim and Moose. <laughs> the redneck Boris and Natasha. Grim and Moose. <laughs> Well, they're. Uh, uh, mm. <laughs> I'm good while I'm ahead. Thank you. <laughs> that one ought to go over very well. <laughs> I'm muting now. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Kate. <laughs> and oh, Beth Z good. is here. Hi, Beth. And Z. BTC Bob. And Jel Sedoni, the oh, lovely oh. Chloe. We only have one Chloe, Chloe. and she's jealous. It's Chloe singular. Uh, well, you know, Chloe, if you're jealous, I'm sure I could find a place for you to help me pull weeds. <laughs> I find that quite suspicious that we are down to one Chloe oh. and no fluke. Ah, that's because we have a criminal and moose girl. <laughs> I don't know. We'll investigate it thoroughly. We have, a, we have a free enslaved, and cut that out. That's just freaking... Bam. <laughs> okay, see, I'm no longer gainfully employed, so that didn't bother me quite as much. <laughs> My little dead slave. Ew! Uh, uh, okay, hi, free. <laughs> free dead slave! I be Don C is here, as well as Java, 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 Dr. T. Don Java? Whoa. Yeah. JJ's 99 is here. Hi, JJ's. <laughs> Nines J's. J's, Nines J's. That's yeah. a fast way of saying it. Hi, Juana Taco. Juana Taco. You know, my spaghetti bake turned out really good last night. But it did. It yeah. did, and my belly hurt when I was done because <laughs> I ate so much. <laughs> wow. You're a, you're a cook and a glutton. Yes. What well, combination. cook's I privilege. Cook's privilege. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, Meister Brower is here. Woody! Woody! And Mr. Yeah. Asmodeus as well. Oh, okay. Oh, 
antithesis. <laughs> <laughs> go on free and slave go on um rain is here we got rain i wish we had rain out here i just got wind out here damn it i need rain hi rlm fluky here we go my eyes already twitching <laughs> did it oh <laughs> <laughs> now you know how pat loves dog phil <laughs> oh yes i do Yes, yeah, I do. You heard the bell and nothing happened. Now you, you're in a panic and you miss your beating because, hey, I heard the bell. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Rob works. Rob works. Did you fire the bubbler and I didn't see it? See, sound effects. That's what you're good for. I knew you were good for something. <laughs> Trust no one is here. How was your well, Long John Silver's, well, trusty? I hope you ate lots. Beetle! There's Beetle. I knew Beetle. I I knew Beetle was here somewhere. <laughs> Colfax 101 is also kind of logged in, at least. 101. Yeah. Reminds me of like a spy name for some reason. I always go all English and go, ah, Colfax 101. Hmm. See, and it just makes me think of that's that's a room number on Colfax Street in Denver. Uh -huh. And Colfax Street girl. is where, where you find <laughs> all know. of those dirty ah. girls. <laughs> and, I, and every time I say boobs, you go insane. Go figure. Okay. No, I don't go insane. I'm already there. <laughs> uh, hi, Dima. And Bye. Dorky Lynn. Hi, hey, Dorky Lynn. Dorky. Lady Frumpy is also here, as well as Frumpy. me and you. You, you yeah, we're yeah, here. yeah, or you and helps. me, or no, it's me and you because I got top billing. Hi, Kozu. Without me, uh, I've heard your show, Miss Serious. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's just so boring. I don't know why anybody listens. No, I uh, didn't say that. I, I said, <laughs> I did. Compared to the dork table, your show is more serious. Ah, more cereal. Not yeah, Cheerios, well, you, not cream of wheat. You get, you get more emotional reading links than you do ignoring my joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I'm on a deep thought rant, going on for five or ten minutes and you're reading about you know those important fucking links on facebook <laughs> <and annoying things. laughs> it's a talent mary I, I bet i bet my wife wish she knew how you do it <laughs> <laughs> or maybe she taught you and i just don't get it yet <laughs> oh poor flash you're a little slow on the uptake aren't you <laughs> Right, I'll just take my cock and I'll go find something else to do. Thank you very much. Uh huh. Uh, you cocky little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kozu. <laughs> and Moy. Moy, 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 Moy. I know you don't want to say that one. Hi, Poxified. And Pompo Pond Sauce, too. Uh, uh, first person to get that joke. <laughs> Yeah, ooh. Yeah, no thanks on that Pants 2024 either. No, that's not cool. Um, are you still there? Yeah. Oh, okay. You you got Did very you quiet. Something? You got very well, quiet. Well, it's because I was cussing um, at the screen because somebody wants to vote. And ooh, you know how I feel about for, an, for the Antichrist so far. So what? Voting. Please, your opinion does not influence me. Leave me alone. I vote for me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't. I'm kind of uh, selfish. Uh, oh, you don't yeah. vote for you? No, I don't vote for you, you dork. Oh, no, I am me and you are you. That's right. And there. So there. That's Hi, Popple it. Pond Sauce. Sock Puppet! Sock Puppet! Oh. It's been forever it's and ever. It's uh -huh. like you've been really busy, like you have a life or something, dude. What the hell? Miss Mary, um, I was on, I was under the fear that Mr. Sock Puppet didn't like us anymore and went to the cool kids table. I know, that's what I thought well, too. I rest assured I was incorrect now. Hey Sock. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Slim Jim Flim. <laughs> Slim um, Jim Flim. Yeah, and Teddy. And Phantom. Phantom. Ooh. 
Terry and the Phantom both at the same time. Yes. Miss Mary is going to have a nice party, I see. Mm. Yes, but it, we already have the cool kids here because we have Grimna and Moose Girl. <laughs> <laughs> the, red, the redneck <laughs> Bowwinkle? And, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bullwinkle already was a redneck, not far to go. No, G no. G-Rock, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, and I, so, I forgot to change my name. Change I my was, name, change my name, say my name, say my name. What the hell's that song? Why is that in my head now? No. Damn it. Okay. Did we hello everybody on the I think we hellowed everybody. And Good. booyah, under 20 minutes, overachiever I here. I told you. Every time you do it under 20 minutes, you get one less piece of tape to strap you in the chair with. <laughs> Yay! I was, I was teasing a grandma. You know, I was looking for you. Well, you got an hour to go. It's said, yeah, but it takes 20 minutes to tape her to the chair. I know. It does. You escape and you go places. You're hard to keep track of. <laughs> but on the bright side, I was listening to your show today. Uh-huh. And... Wowie, kazowie, I missed it. something happened. I missed a few first few minutes. I figured I'd just go back to it later. But wow, what's going on with you, little missy? Um, I am no longer a member of the um, uh, in the system employed mm. group. So I'm not you, part of you, that group no more. Are you a freed slave mentally, or or did you come to terms with it quickly? Uh, I'm I'm semi retired. Mm. Which basically means that I'm still working, but it's for me. Well, you know, only a lazy ass would ever think there's never going to be any more work. Come on. You got to do things to maintain your life. That, well, yeah. Just because you don't call it work don't mean it's not work. Well, it's now it's not play. All work. Now, yeah, well, see, that's what I do is I make the best of whatever tasks I do to, you know, get me through my thing. Yeah, that's kind of like when I'm pulling weeds, and I, uh -huh. I imagine all of these nasty ass people that are, are pretending like they know what is best for everyone else, and or at least saying that they know what's best for everyone else. When in actuality, they're just grabbing in more and more grubber shit. But you know, I huh. I name my weeds. And every time I get one pulled out completely by the root, then it's like, I feel so much better. <laughs> but when the little bastards snap off at ground level or just below ground level and I have to get my shovel out and dig them out, it's like, oh, you sorry little some bitch. I'll get your roots. Just you, just you wait, my pretty. I'll get you and your little dog, too. So there. So, in, in so many words, it's safe to say you've overcome your fear of compliance. Am I correct? Pretty much, yeah. Now, okay, the proof is in the pudding. Uh huh. Okay? And here's the tricky part as a homeowner, I'll bet you can't ever do this. Become free of that driver's license. And I think it's because of the home ownership that it's that's the, the tie to the driver's license, whether you work or not. Well, because see, and I don't have to drive into town anymore. Hmm. Yay. Maybe I'm wrong, but I I would challenge you as a fellow anarchist mindset thinker mm -hmm. to figure out a way to beat that game. Now you've beaten the the other game. Now beat the next game. Hmm. You know, instead of taking my ass kickings in life as, oh, they whipped my ass, what am I going to do? I'd take it as, well, now I've got a challenge. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. So hmm. I was like a mental MacGyver of shitty positions to be in. You know? And losing your job, depending on your mindset, can be a fucked up situation to be in. You yes. Know, it depends on you, because some people don't really know. They've got other skills they can fall back on to earn fiat money or barter or something. You can always find ways to survive. And some of us are prepared and some of us panic. So it's good to see that you are prepared and ready for this turn of events and so on. Well, and, I mean, you know, it doesn't hurt that I was born and raised a call girl. So, you know, I can always fall back on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, well, I don't think, to be honest, no. That kind of, 
I don't know. Maybe there's some money in your town, but whew, I wouldn't depend on it for a living. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, when you think about okay, think about it like this, right? You got all these politicians in D.C., right? And they're all away from their wives for periods of time. What do you think they do for entertainment? Do they go to each the other? <laughs> no, they do prostitutes. Come on. Didn't I just say that? Each other is well, prostitutes. Like, <laughs> they pay outside of their pool to be, you know, oh, oh, in oh, they're fishing in other wells. Okay. Yeah, they go to, okay. Like, Senate pages and, you know, prostitutes and whatnot. These ah. people are abusive cunts. Look at the laws they write. Oh, yeah, but it's for your own good. No, no, I'm so sick of hearing that. I, for my fucking own good. You know what would be for my own good is for these motherfuckers to leave me alone. And you know what? What? Do. Yay! <laughs> Dude, See? Hi, you dorky both. Lynn. Hi, dorky I, Lynn. I, I think know, she finally got in the... Yeah. in the. Um, yeah. Well, she's the in chat. the chat, but she's got to listen, too. Hi, lady. <laughs> Woo-woo. Uh-huh. But we're still going to do the rest of the show in English. <laughs> oh, man. But I was wanting to do the three day chef. No, yeah, actually, well, you know Circle does it way better. Well, yeah, but that's because she's got that danglish thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, know, she does. I, I was sitting here watching TV this morning thinking about this ex girlfriend I had that was like a Terminator. You know, the ex-girlfriend that will not leave, that don't want to be with you anymore, but they don't want oh, anyone else to be with you. I called him Terminator. Ah. <laughs> After I saw the movie Terminator, I went, well, I know her. Oh, and hey. She doesn't even look like you, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, yeah. The, have you ever had a relationship like that? Because, I mean, I don't know. You might be an innocent young thing. And never had a bad day in your life, for all I know. Uh, never even asked you be. Well, it was just like, wow, Terminator. And people are so weak today. They're a bunch of pussies. They give up with no, not even a fight. Well, well, uh, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a punch. I see them shooting on each other on on video links in America, but I don't see it anywhere else. So I think the rest of the world's just a bunch of pussies. They need some guns so they can get their balls together and go out and hurt somebody. There's no there, that lady is on Twitter, and I'm not going back there. And you can't make me. <laughs> Ladies on Twitter. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. Well, you know, I, I'm actually like that though. I just get sick of reading some of this shit after you know five ten minutes, and go find a game to play. Oh hey. I'm not impressed with the modern day mind or the things that occupy most people's time. You know, I have valuable knowledge about the scams that are being played upon the public on a daily basis. And they want to talk about meth head cams and cats. I like you know, cats. Well, uh, I got a cat. I want to look at a fucking cat. I'll go look at my fucking cat. I don't need to turn a, a, a chat room on. To learn about cats, I already know about that. I want to know what's what's going on in the world. What's happening here? What's happening, hot star? Yeah, and I found out shit like the money's not real, the medicine is poisoning us by design, the people making the laws make the laws to fit the crimes they're committing. It's insanity. And see, you find all that stuff, and I find this way cool stuff about, you know, making dandelion wine. And giving cinnamon to your plants, and and <laughs> growing yeah, shrooms. Happy plants. Do happy plants produce a happier result? Yes, yes, they do. Because did you know that when I'm happy, I even produce a happier re result? So I've been told by my wife. <laughs> oh, hey, there you go. Oh, and did you know that when you're gardening, if you really want your plants to be beneficial for you? That um, what you need to do is you go out there first thing in the morning before you shower or anything like that. And you stand in like a tub of water and you run mm -hmm. the garden hose over your legs. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. You did, you yeah. did a whole thing. So you did a five, ten minute thing on that. I'm going to find the show and mark it. Ah. I will do that for you because, like I was telling you before the show, Miss Mary, it's... we have been doing this for a while. And I went back and listened to some shows with somebody the other day. And you know what? Damn, what? if we're not, we're funny. Ah. <laughs> I, I was telling you one week about that, uh, the joke you made about Hansel and the girl in, in Starbucks. Well, I went back and listened to the entire show, and it's almost like funny from the front to the back. Uh. And and here here's the best part about it, is I go into my deep thought rants about something really important to me, and, and you read links on Facebook and interrupt me and go, but my girlfriend Lily says... <laughs> If you have sex with chopsticks, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> you know, I, I knew that already. Yeah, but Lily didn't know that. <laughs> so she must have been raised very conservatively. <laughs> No, she'd just never seen chopsticks before. You know, she'd always heard someone say, I got wood, and she just went, really? And then when they got out the chopsticks, she was like, oh, wow. So, okay. <laughs> I was just I was just amused on how, how obvious it is that when I go on one of my deep rants that you're off doing something else. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's amusing. Now, well, it is. <laughs> I'm amusing myself. <laughs> Apparently. And you're liking this way too much. <laughs> I think I'll drink another shot because of that. Oh, see how now, you are. See, on top of my heroin, my two-pound-a-day heroin addiction, now you're making an al – and my weed habit, now you're making an alcoholic out of me too. <laughs> ah. It's all your fault because you talk to me in English on the radio every week. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's scary. They did a yeah. They did a survey and figured that out. A, a recent recent um, survey indicates that's all you got to do is right. A recent survey indicates hemp doesn't hurt you, and all of a sudden people go, "Wait a minute, it doesn't hurt us!" Yay! Yay! Now we can pay the government to give us a weed that grows in the ground. <laughs> yeah, and it'll grow just about anywhere. I mean, th this whole last 20 years has made pot look like some journey through a mystical land to get to. And what it is is a seed grows in the ground. It makes a weed. You cut it down and you sm do this and that and you smoke it. Cool. It's not. But right. But all this lights and all the things they've put in the you know, in the media inside grow projects and these strains and that strains and. The guys in Nebraska just pick it wild along the riverbed. <laughs> yeah. You know? And they usually get so much, it takes them three months into the next year to get to get out of last year's crop. So it's overplayed. It's exaggerated, and there's not as much to it that's not healthy as there is all this drama crap. Oh, I smoked weed with Willie Nelson. So fucking what? Willie Nelson's a bore any goddamn way. What what the fuck do you think happened with Willie Nelson? They went to a fucking Winchell's and ate some donuts. <laughs> oh well, I I saw a picture of Willie Nelson in a bathtub, yeah. and across yeah. the top it said "Wet Willie." <laughs> uh, I, but can you imagine a more boring personality for the face of Weed, the Great Adventure? You know. Well, Not what Ozzie. about Woody Harrelson? Yeah. No, not Ozzy or somebody cool like uh, Crowley or maybe Hitler. No, they put <laughs> the big pot smoker is the country feel of Willie Nielsen. Yeah, well, uh, you know, for I mean, the most part, I can't it, I can't listen to Willie Nelson sing because it's like it, mm, that voice. It's, just... not a, it's not about his fucking singing. It's about this is the society that we live in. They put the face of Willie Nelson as the bad thing about pot. I'll never smoke pot with Willie again. Why? What'd you do? You, did you fight over the bag of Doritos? What horrible fucking shit happens to people when they smoke pot? I don't get it. I don't either. Okay, my rant's over. Okay. <laughs> What I'm, are you reading? <laughs> I, I'm looking at the chat, <laughs> and it's yeah. like, uh, uh. The, res 
THC receptor. Yeah, it's way cool. It's Babushka. She well, started following me over on on Minds, well, and so I had to go check it out because I used to call my girls my little Babushka. Because mm. I got German you... Russian heritage, don't you know? And and her inside my mind or inside mm. my head thing, wow. I mean, hers is a lot more organized than mine, but that, yeah, that looks a lot like mine. <laughs> <Good night. laughs> wow. I I don't even know what organized really means. It's not you me. No, nah, well, see, it's other people's standards. I, I said that on mine's got my ass handed to me yesterday, I think. Got into a, a disagreement with somebody that claims to be a doctor because I'm an anti-vaxxer. Oh. Now, here, here's here's what this other character had to say, right? Uh-huh. Um, I've... I vaxxed the shit out of my kids, but I won't give them the flu shots. Okay. Uh -huh. I thought, hmm. So I'm not so sure that a lot of people just don't already have their opinions made up and just refuse to look at the opposition. You know, they, they have a logic bone in their head that says, no matter what you see besides what you already know, it is not true. And I believe that is a mental uh, system people today, a big number of them, think on. Hmm. Hmm. I know the truth, and your lies cannot persuade me to see anything different. Now, I call it Stockholm Syndrome. Hey, thanks, sir. And a lot of other nasty names, but I'm losing patience with the... You know, the average Joe. I think average Joe is a retarded fuck, in my <laughs> opinion, right now. <laughs> that, you know, instead of bashing me all the time and and uh, being superior to other people, I think average Joe should come down off his mountain and just look around and breathe some air. Take a walk somewhere. You know? Yeah. Talk to the crack whore and see what she's got up her sleeve. You might like it. <laughs> mm. oh. <laughs> they got two sleeves, too. <laughs> anyway, I was just losing my mind. What are you reading about, dear? Um, actually, I'm looking at a meme with Milo Yiannopoulos, and it says, as gay as the daisies, but still more alpha than any male feminist or social justice warrior. And what's really sad is that's true. <laughs> well, and you know what's even sadder than that? What? Is that that's the kid from the Brooklyn, uh, not uh, Berkeley and all that shit in yeah. California going on? Uh huh. I've never watched one of those links to see what even that's even about. Doesn't even interest me. So he can be whatever he is. I got no opinion because I've got no experience seeing it. See, and I just I find just him see amusing. The links and pass him up. Yeah, not even interested. It's like the sex bot shit, you know? Okay, that's cute. Next. What else you got? See, and I could give two shits less about a sex bot. Well, that's a big thing on the uh, on the interwebs lately. I know. I keep seeing all this stuff pop up, and it's like, oh, whoop de doo So you got a fancy schmancy vibrator. Only this one's got legs. That's almost as bad as the god dang VJJ woman. Well. I'm I'm kind of caught between you know if it's just about a machine why do you need it to talk? Because you need it to say, "Oh baby, right there, oh, that's what oh, I want." Only it will sound like, "Oh baby, that's free, what I okay, want." So, do wait, it so like it's that. It's pre-programmed. <laughs> it's pre-programmed speech, right? It tells. So it's a control issue. It's about a guy that can't control women. So he'll buy a machine so you have the illusion of controlling a woman. Wow, that's pretty fucked up, if you ask me. But with the world we're in right now, I would say they're right on target. Well, I don't know that it's necessarily a control thing. It's it's just, it's an ego thing, maybe. Are you because, a man? No, I I'm am man, not. I'm telling but... you from a man's perspective, my dear, I'm looking at it from a man, and I'm saying if I needed something in that fashion, it would be a, be a control thing. Why else would I need something I could turn off? You can't turn Cirque off. She turns it. <laughs> she does what she fucking wants when she fucking feels like it and that's the way she is kind of like me only with tits oh yeah so i just think that you know 
to require something inanimate to fulfill a human need is kind of twisted. That's my opinion. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe it's normal. And my obsession with boobs is what's what's wrong. <laughs> well, and I just think it's very Never. sad. That I got an obsession with boobs is sad. No, no, because oh, that okay. doesn't that doesn't surprise me one damn bit. Obviously, uh, you were weaned a little bit too early. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> or too late, or something. But uh, so, you grew quite uh, attached to that, and yeah. and you never oh, outgrew yeah. it. The fun bags never stop. Come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> They don't oh. call them fun bags for nothing. Yeah, well, you know when you when you said the fun bags never stop, the first um, <laughs> first image that popped in my head was that little granny lady that they do, you know, those paintings <laughs> in the bars. Yeah. yeah, where she's got tube socks with ping pong balls in the end of them. <laughs> Yeah, the future looks bleak, but by then I'll be blind anyway. Please so, roll those matter. up. God yeah, dang. It won't matter. My eyes probably won't last that long. Oh. But thanks for bringing it up so I have to think about it. Oh, what a visual. So You're welcome. <laughs> Wow. Oh, hey, free enslaved. Yeah, that's true. And that's what the butt crack is for. That's what you swipe your credit card through. <laughs> <laughs> but see i've been away from home for many years now to me so yeah you're I not away really from know. home you're at home you dingle fod home no, is where you my, are my, my my birth home you dork oh that Don't piece go. of dirt that you were born on well yeah because mentally and emotionally there's more to it see your upbringing and the I told you my, my indoctrination will kick that shit out of yours. I just keep mine under control so you don't know it's there. Oh. I've kind of ignored it. You know, it's there, but yeah, leave it alone. I, I don't nurture that fucking idea. It's, it's a bad idea, but it was beaten into me long ago. Mm. It's yeah, it's easy to fall into that trap and be all insulted by words. Oh, words are bad. Ooh, bad, bad, bad. Words. Yeah. Words, 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 words. That's all I get is um, words. Oh, I'm hey, tough. that's from that's from my fair lady. Mm. I don't care. But uh, <laughs> okay, Here. you want to hear about my exciting morning in Freddy's Town today? Certainly. It and let me tell you, it was unusually unusual because, well, for one, I'm dealing with people I don't speak their language, and for two. I accidentally switched the notes around for the uh -huh. two different products. So oh. I went to the pharmacy to get um, some pills for Circle. And I gave her, the pharmacist, the note for the store I was supposed to go pick up the package at. <laughs> and I got the pills anyway. She figured it out, but uh -huh. didn't say anything because she speaks Danish. So I had the, the clerk at the package store to get the box the one for the pills and he's looking through his pills and that makes me realize oh crap i've been handed the wrong people the wrong note <laughs> oh <laughs> but because i just figure shit out and work with it i laughed it off and straightened it out and found ah oh, i gave you the wrong note sorry here this is the right one and got my shit together and left but I had to walk in a big circle twice to sort out the, the right stores and find the place to go you know, Good job. Yeah. Okay. But see, these are the things that uh, foreigners in America weren't willing to do. And that's why they got such a bad rap in the States. They don't conform to the local shit. They bring their own shit in and want you to like it and go, hey, fuck off, bitch. I ain't going to do that. Well, in my day, we could do that. And if they fucked with you, just beat them up and they'd leave. Oh. Now, they point a finger at you and the police arrest your ass for giving them shit. Mm, yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so but I read all this horrible stuff on the internet, and it just makes me more aware and more in control of my behavior where I live, because I wouldn't want to treat people like that. That's not me anymore. I mean, yeah, I grew up. I'm not so mean as I was when I was little, you know, uh -huh. that kind of idea. Yeah, well, there was a day I'd get a giggle out of making somebody mad. I still do. See but how you are. Yeah, but it's not like it was once. 
Like ah. constant. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I ride a horse until it dies. I didn't give a shit. There's other horses. Fucking cares. Ah. Now I've learned I've learned the, the lesson of life that when you find one you like, feed it once in a while so it won't die on you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Well, it, it's not a it's not a manly lesson to learn that it's a two way street in life, because men are all in control, want to run everything. That's what we do. That's what we're we're raised so, to do from little kids. So oh, the men, oh, you got the cock. Oh, go and rub that, 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 that. Oh, see, go... well, that's because you got the gear shift and ball bearings. Right, right, right. You know, so you think you always got to be doing all this shit, and 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 then, and then when you grow up, some girl puts her hands together and shows you a triangle and says, "You see that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what runs the world, stupid." Yeah, and if You're you want to see any of that, <laughs> you better start saying yes, dear, real quick. <laughs> That's real. Okay, and you know, and if all it is is a matter of somebody being nice. As opposed to being unnice, that's not a big trade-off. Mm. In fact, it's really good for me because, you know, I'm not nice. It's hard to be nice. i got to work at it because I'm so used to people being assholes. Ah. I've worked for them. I've lived with them. I've been among them. And now I live far away from all that. And things are calmer. It's not so uh, – so the friction is gone. Ah, so something must have been lubricated because you no longer have friction. <laughs> exactly. So, and the answer to the whole problem was not speaking the language to the degree of being where I was at home. It ah. gives you a, a false sense of security. Sure. When you're not sure of the language, you mind your, your manners are a little bit more under control. Ah. Oh, yeah, man, I could try to say something in Danish and it actually come out with, you know, something in Danish that means I want to fuck your cat, you know, trying to say something and not being able to say it properly. You know what I mean or not? Mm. Where you try to say something in a certain another folks language and you think it means one thing, but the way that you speak it, they hear in their language, I want to fuck your cat or, you know. Long live the Satan or some stupid thing instead of what you intend to say. Mm. I guess not. Hmm. See, and that's that's like when I when I see people with these uh, Oriental character oh, yeah. tattoos, and I think, does that say I wipe my ass with corn husks? That's you know, what I'm talking about. That misunderstanding about the person doing it and the person receiving it. Uh-huh. And it's always, and it's there even when you speak the same fucking language. Ah. Do you know some people on RLM after the, this amount of time I've been on it still think I'm serious about shit? Still think I, I mean, when I'm typing shit, I just banter. When I'm posting shit, I mean something. It's not what I type that. I don't give a fuck about any of that. It's just chitter chatter. doesn't matter. It doesn't have any value. But the link about Medicine, death by medicine, that's for you. Mm, yeah. Mm? Yeah. I or understand that. Whatever I come up with, that's a, that's something that caught my attention, and for some fucked up reason, I think maybe you'll like it too, or you'll get something out of it. But the typing and the banner and the radio, eh, this is more for fun, shits and giggles, and having a good time. Ah. You know? but, but the actual pasting stuff on, on the site is... To pass on knowledge that I think will help the next guy. Maybe get him out, out of his fucking status, love, and fucking mind and see the truth. Really? See the truth? Look at what the ma- look what the masters have done with the term anarchy through media and television and film. Yeah. You ask an average Joe what an anarchist and they're going to tell you some fucking idiot breaking windows downtown in a riot. That is not an anarchist. That is, that the, is what do you call it? A rioter. A, a, a destructionist. Yeah, because our philosophy is quite the opposite. I wouldn't try to prove to you anything by being violent. I wouldn't prove anything more than you're right and I'm an idiot. That's what violence is. 
the weaker guy is the one that fights. Yeah. But we're trained with the opposite. Oh, you got to defend and all all this pretense bullshit to get you into that wavelength so you'll draw that idiot out that wants to fight with you. Well, yeah. Those that don't have a leg to stand on either resort to violence in the physical form or violence yeah, in or, the verbal form, whether it's yeah. whether it's punching you or breaking something or slurring you. That's that if that's the only repartee that yeah, they with, know. With the, with the vague, yeah, with all the vague innuendo about shit that nobody gives a fuck about anyway in the long run. Oh, you're a fag. Oh, you're a Republican. Oh, you know, okay, so what? So, but we've been trained as people to hear these words and be attached to them somehow. Oh, yeah. So when somebody calls you a bad name, you're supposed to respond in kind. And when you don't, you throw the whole balance of the game off. Okay. So did you just call me a bad name? Because I'm going to call no, you I, a bad name. There. <laughs> You've been called a bad name. <laughs> we can do about it. Huh? No, exactly. That's <laughs> the point. It's... <laughs> it's just to distract you from having the interest to find out how banking works. It's so simple. And and we're not taught how simple life is. Problems aren't huge. Problems well, hell, are small. I, I even had this discussion with someone the other day. Um, you know, even in the Bible, it says that Jesus chased out the money lenders from the temple. And I keep hearing all these people tell me, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Yada, 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 yada. What the hell is Caesar's? Caesar's. What Caesar's yeah. is what fucking fits him. You know, the mm. rest of it is like, no, that ain't Caesar's. He didn't work for it. He don't deserve it. <laughs> okay, well, you see, and that's what I'm talking That whole concept of work and deserve has been hijacked, butchered, and you're being had by stories on the Internet that you can't prove in your own neighborhood. Yeah, but or it's not just the internet. You, the internet's just finish, a high tech let version. Me finish, <laughs> let me finish one for a change. No. Or before I forget it, come on, okay. cut me off all the time. Okay. Or if you can do something about it in the city, they make the other people uninterested in your answers through the school system and peer pressure and growing up. Don't listen to old people, blah, blah, blah. How do you think they got old? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, fuck. I caught the uh, attention of an old guy at the grocery today who probably hadn't spoke English to anybody in years, and he was struggling with words, but he was smiling because he, he was interested, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's it's that that's what the society doesn't have anymore that I came from. People don't mix with each other and just get along. Everything's a fucking fight or a show or a, I'm better than you because you're a piece of shit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I read it on the RLM every fucking day when I get up how much better people are than other people. Well, no, it, it that's an illusion. You you think it's true, but it's not true. Because when you bash somebody else like I'm doing <laughs> right now, you're really just leveling the field. You're not better than or less than. You're just being another idiot at the moment. I'm using this point to make a point, not to be an asshole. Mm. Mm? Mm. I'm self-aware to know when I've been drugged down in the mud where I shouldn't be, but I still do it because I'm a fighter from the old days. And I'll settle for words now over fists. It's quite the trade-off. But in the long run of the game, it's really just as devastating in the end as the punch. Ah. Because I waste all the energy and time doing it instead of something productive. Oh, there you go. But, of course, if you have no audience, you're going to go with what's happening. See? Yep. So the control freaks beat me in. And lately, I don't know. I don't even want to play with them anymore. It's just so the same thing every day. No. Uh-uh. I don't, when it's a rut, I don't want to do it. When it's fun, I want to do it every day. Yeah. But when, it, when a guy starts calling a woman a crack whore because she might want him to shovel some snow, I thought very little of that. 
you know, and I'm reading this on a chat room morning for you. I get up. This is my, you know, not right now, but in the morning when I get up and I thought, wow, why am I reading this? Yeah. Why, why are you why reading am, it? Yeah, exactly. So today when I got on, I read a little bit and I went, why am I reading this? So I did it two days in a row. And I click. See? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I told you there's going to come a time when I'm done with something and then I'm really done. I'm not done yet, but I'm coming to the end. My patience has been frazzled. So, mm. yeah, well, you can only try to help somebody so much and be insulted back for your input for so long before you just give up and just wait for them to croak. See, and I, mm, mm, I've, I think I'm to the point where it's like, you don't want to listen? Okay, I'm going to go do my thing. And if you want to come on over, come on over. And if you don't, that's fine, too, because I'm still going to be doing my thing. So. Mm. Yeah, well, this is such heartbreaking stuff to find out, too. The banking's fucked up. Medicine's fucked up. They poison the water and the food. And only can imagine a, a voting mind would think, oh, you're just some kind of nut job. Well, and, and see, you're still focusing on all that shit, and that's why that's all you see. Because that's what well, you're focusing on. That's what they're showing me. Because that's where your focus is. That's the way the universe works. Where you focus is what you will see, and you will start seeing more and more the more you focus on it. If you change your focus, you won't see so much of that. You may see it, but it won't tweak you anymore. It'll be like, eh, yeah, whatever, and you'll move along. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm getting to that point where, wow, it's just, it's mundane. Yeah, well, see, yeah, and I, I see a lot of that shit, and I go, oh, great, here we go again, and I'll just move along, and I'll go and try and find something that helps improve my mood as opposed to trying to drag my mood down. It, you know what I figured out? What? People don't like Jews. Well, it's because you you're, you're such a Jewy bastard. That's why. Yeah. Did, did you do that? Being anti-Semitic is a bad thing. I heard that. What's so wrong I with figured, cement? I like I cement. Out, I'm going to sell Semitic. <laughs> and I'll give you 25% off all the Semitic you can handle. You just come to me, and I'll give you a, a free chicken with every $500 order. A free chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I like that <laughs> quote that Grimmy <laughs> just added. Anti-Semitic. Yeah, what, the state is happy to provide anarchists to spice up your event? Nope, nope. Whenever A mm -hmm. attempts by law to impose his moral standards upon B, A is most likely a scoundrel. I would Ooh, I would insert yeah. asshole, because yeah. asshole starts with A, but this was H.L. Mencken, and he he's not as crass as I am. Oh, yeah, I brought that up earlier, and I, and I dodged it, or you interrupted me or something, but what, what I was trying to say is, I put up a medical link about a child having a uh, epileptic seizure, and the point of the seizure was they got inoculated uh -huh. and it became that way. Yeah. And it brought forth one of these people that's just bashing me all over the place because I obviously don't see that I'm being lied to <laughs> by, by the people that made the film. Ah. Uh. You know, it's it's I'm misunderstanding what I'm seeing. I, I what? How? I mean, it's not like people are going to go out of their way to make stuff like that up. That's not, would they? You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. I do like that, cowboy. Thank you for sharing that link. And welcome aboard, hun. Yeah, that is how the world will end. That is. I wonder how many, I wonder how many people have been born in the last 10 years. What the number of people is. Because the population is like 320-something million Right? In the States. I have no freaking clue. Oh, okay. But it's huge. It's a big, blah, 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 blah number, right? So if the amount of people that have been born into it and inoculated is really relatively small compared to the population, th this game is done with such precision and such timing and in such small increments that most people don't catch any of it that's going on when it's happening. Oh, yeah. You see, yeah. you see it fully years, 20, 30 years down the road. You go, wow, they got me again. And right now, here we are in the, about 15 years of this real heavy uh, inoculating they've been doing on the kids. And they work in 20-year blocks, in my opinion. 
It's about you know, a generation. And here they've got a whole generation of inoculated children. And all the crap that results that came from it, and they justify it and sell it to enough of the population as a truth to continue the freaking inoculations. Yeah. And, and they call it democracy because, well, with the the law states within this, you know, this amount of mercury is safe in a human being. Well, so they lied about it and wrote it as a law, making it legal. People think legal is the thing that's best for you, and it's not. Legal is the thing that's going to make the most money for the system. Yeah. Just like with hemp. And speaking of hemp, dun, 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 because see, you say hemp, and the universe Mm. provides on Facebook. (laughs) Oh, Oh, that just made my, my, I just got a mushroom cap when you said Facebook. Wait a second here. Oil-based plastics are destroying the environment. Why not hemp plastics? They are both biodegradable and non-toxic. And there is a picture day one. You got your hemp plastic bottle. Day 28, it's half disintegrated. Day 38, it's really disintegrated. And by day 50 and or day 58, that's including the screw top lid. It is degraded into the soil. Well, how many people on, in, in the system, say, do you think have money invested in oil? See? Oil won't go anywhere because they're making money off us using oil. Well, yeah. And they got oil in everything we use, so you're going to use something that's got oil in it anyway. It doesn't matter what you do anymore. Well, and see, the thing that I, I keep looking at this and I keep thinking, okay, wait a minute here. Now, they knew that this other stuff would work. And yet they wanted they, they wanted that? to they wanted to keep their stranglehold with oil, but what they what and this is not forward thinking my hmm. perspective on their you know, on hmm. how they handled things. Because if they would have been smart, they would have said, "Oh yeah, okay. So this works." And it's not going to do anything that's going to get people pissed off and throwing shit at us or making us go bankrupt. So I tell you what, we will just make sure that we've got the technology and we've got the facilities so that we can refine. Let everybody else grow it, but we can refine this stuff and make things and make a market to where they will start buying their own stuff back from us in a different form. And so... You know, I got to thinking, mm, why don't they do things like that? Why why didn't someone be forward thinking? No. Instead, they were, it's mine, it's mine, and if I can't have it, nobody can. You know, it's that's not a very uh, workable solution for anything because, you know, no matter how many times you say, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, when you <laughs> die, it's not yours anymore. It's someone else's. Yeah, and, and you're just time while you're alive, you're sharing it anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, see, that, it's such a hard topic to really discuss and make any sense out of because so far beyond average Joe's reality, we lose them real quickly. They don't have the imagination to understand that this has to be the results of a plan. Had they gone with hemp from the beginning instead of replacing it with oil. They wouldn't be where they are now. They would never have made this amount of money off us. You don't know like that. Ted. They might. Mu- they yes, might I have. Do. But we. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. Like because Ted this Ted also Edison. supports a military-industrial complex and yada yada would and all have the other. Been a military-industrial fucking complex. That's the point. Is at that period of history. That's when Tesla was coming out with the free energy, and they mm-hmm. brought in World War One. There's too many coincidences in the timing. And too little of my experience with it, speaking of it, to make a point that everybody's going to grasp. But this is all a long, long range plan. I can't even figure out how many years it goes back, but I can trace certain things to certain time periods. Like the well, Rothschild yeah. started in about 1850 in a certain country we won't name Germany. <clears throat> you know? <laughs> and. I'm 
just brag and cause my people are some shifty motherfuckers, man. They get they fucked all of you all at once with your consent. You know? And we all snivel and complain because life in today for in some way or another is wrong. That's my sniveling. Yeah. Not my oh, my place in life isn't good. I'm happy, I got a good, comfortable life. What I'm not happy about is that the systems we live in supply us purposely with crap they poison yeah. and fucking treat us like shit and you got voters that go in there and support this crap all over the fucking world and where you don't have voters to support it you got dictators with fucking armies to support their shit and it's all a matter of if you follow these motherfuckers you give them power yeah <laughs> I'm an American. I'm an Englishman. I'm a Frenchman. Well, there you go. These are not the answers. These are the problems. This is how they control us. Oh, well, yeah. I get all that shit about, well, you're in Denmark. No, I don't give a fuck if I'm in Denmark. If Circle wanted to move to Croatia, I'd go to there. I'm, I'm with my wife. I give her the privilege of, you pick where you want to live instead of me. She don't want to go to America. That's not my fault. I didn't know that until she told me. <laughs> you know, it's not like I have the psychic powers and I could read her deepest thoughts. No. I had to plan something with her. Hey, where do you want to do this at? Here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't speak Danish. Oh, you'll learn. <laughs> no, I won't, sure. but it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to speak Danish. <laughs> Wow. People have high hopes for me sometimes, don't they? Mm, yeah. But, you know, where there is breath, there is hope. So there you go. Well, you know what I found out, Miss Mary? What's that? I found out you was right about something. What's that? Being nice um, to people has a better result than not being nice to people. Well, that's what I've found, at least. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm I'm not by nature a very nice person in the first one. I'm not that you know. I'm not stingy, not nice. I'm more just like pass you by, not nice. Ah. I don't know the world's there until it engages me. I just leave it alone. The world does not interest me enough to look at it anymore. I mean, people wise. Ah. Thirty years ago, I'd see a girl walking down the street I like the looks of. I'd go talk to her. Mm -hmm. Now I'm an old man. Now I got a wife. Now I I got a life to you know. Things have changed. So now I'm nice to people, but there was a time I was right in your face. However the fuck I felt like being there at the moment. See, and, and, and I like being nice to people simply because, you know, if they're not nice to me and I'm still nice to them, <laughs> yeah. it's funny how you can actually uh, see the gears turning inside uh, their head. Yeah. Because, you know, people that are people that are generally not nice, you know, or go out of their way to be obnoxious or however you want to look at that, they have a way of always expecting it to come back at them. And when you're nice to them, then they're like, no, I really got to watch out, which I, I like seeing those gears turn. <laughs> I will admit that, you know, it's like sometimes when I just kind of sit there and just smile, it makes them very uncomfortable. You know, and that's pretty much what I did when I got given my walking papers. Here's your door. Here's your hat. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. But, you know, I just yeah. smiled and said, yeah, I saw this coming. And he but just and reality, my boss okay. just looked at me and he got I mean, he got fidgety. He got squirmy. I sat there all nice and calm and they were yeah. making all these excuses. And I was going, uh-huh. OK, huh. well, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it is it is a control thing, but well, I like to be pleasant it about it. <laughs> did, did hanging around here for the last two years prepare you mentally for that event? I think everything that has happened in my life has prepared me for that event. Right, because you could have gone all ballistic and shot everybody on a whim if you'd have wanted to. I could have. I could have. I, I mean, that's just the kind of thing. You walk into a room and all of a sudden, boom. And that's what I mean about dorks. They always pick on us. And we're the ones, we're the glue to their fucking game. And they kiss us off every fucking time, thinking they can replace us with other people, and they can't. 
And you got to be tough. And when they call you back and go, we can't do it without you, you got to tell them it's too late. That's that's the key to success is never going back to the people that burned you and allowing them to burn you a second time. Well, yeah, that's, if, it, if it happens twice, they're, you're theirs forever. Oh, yeah. Well, see, that's like um, what what was that meme? Um, taking your mm-hmm. ex uh, back is like trying to put poop back in your butt. Yeah, there's no way I'm not going to yeah. go there. <laughs> Because, see, that's what I was kind of hitting around about at the beginning of the show about your your Terminator. Your job is your ex-girlfriend that you're never going to get rid of. That's kind of what I was trying to bring out and didn't show up, So, but it popped up now. Yeah, well. Uh... Yeah, because you, you said they were calling you at home and saying, hey, how did you do this? Yeah. Well, you'll figure it out. It's your problem now, bitch. Leave me alone. Now, but you'll be nice about it, but that's what it means. Yeah. And you got to stand your ground. They weren't fucking cool with you when they cut you loose. So you got to you got to do what you got to do, but if you want to do this right and not be sucked back into it, stand your damn ground. My my advice to you, little missy. And I think if anybody can do it, you can. Actually, I think anybody could if they decided to. Yeah. I think that what we lack as people anymore is uh, positive reinforcement. Yes. You know? It's like yes. Goober's got a brilliant idea. The other electronic guys are talking to him about it. I catch the chat sometimes to stay out of it. It's not my area. I don't know much. But I know something. I don't know what I know. I just know something. But he surrounds himself with Hansel and they jibber chat. And he, every time he talks to that guy, he sets me back 10 paces again. And I got to start all over. In my, you know, my Rain Man process of understanding what the other guy is trying to say. Well, stop letting it do that. You're in control of that. Yeah, but Hansel is so ne- negative. He just, I blocking him is pisses me off, and reading him pisses me off. So, I'm at a catch twenty two. But I'm interested in what Goober's talking about sometimes when he's getting his his batteries and his energy shit. You know, mm-hmm. because that that is what is important. You know, we're all suffering from, see, I know I pick on Hansel all the time, but Hansel is, he is the most affected by the things I'm against of the group. He is the result of all the horrible shit that I want to see end. And that shows you, that proves it. Most of the guys on the site just go, wow, blah, blah, blah. They give up. They don't even try to fight with him. Well, I see, I see Grim yesterday trying to, make a point to him but it's always and it never goes anywhere it doesn't ever grab grab hold and and get him to thinking and i i think it's a result of the food and all the rest of the shit that he intakes every day and then you should feel bad for him and say bless your heart (laughs) and move along i have spoken (laughs) i know you know what maybe Maybe I'm one of those diehard, real fucking weirdos that thinks there's hope for people, no matter how fucked up that I think they are. Maybe it's not as bad as I think. There is hope. There is hope I've for people. I've seen miracles in life. I mean, I saw Sir break her fucking hand so bad that just thinking about him putting it right made me, oy. and I'm pretty tough. I mean, as far as, you know, people hurting her side, I could look at it, but this one, I'm connected to it. So as I age and as I spend more time in this nice little place, I get softer instead of tougher. Oh, you're such a softy. Well, and see, I knew, yeah. I knew way down deep inside because on the outside, you're a crusty bugger, but you're a Stay puff Marshmallow Man on the inside. I knew it was in there. Circles that's, that's just had way, to bring it out. Yeah. That's the way it's looking because, you know, wow. Yeah. Well, anyway, so... But I'm saying a, a part of my, my mistreatment of Hansel, I think it's a result of the negative shit that fuels him to make him do the things he does that irritate people. And I don't he, really think he gets off on I, – he plays this game. I don't, I don't think he knows any different is what I think. He I think may not. Up, it's, I yeah, mean, he he, is, that is com- that's his on. comfort zone. And yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It's, yeah, but I mean, his opinion about uh, anarchy, for example, I mean, that, that represents the wrong side. And of course, it's going to upset me because yeah. I know I know better. Well, 
you can't physically see my my contribution to life is so minuscule. A little town in Denmark where I I encounter a few people, you know, it's not much. And yet, you know, you may only interact with one or two people a week besides circles, and yet, no, more just maybe maybe. 20 it depends yeah but just let's just say that there is one person that's not really having a good day and here comes flash a rooney dork and he comes oh, dorking yeah. in and says something just doofy and you bring a smile to someone's face you mm -hmm. have just changed someone's world and when you take it down to that small of a level and just right. on the very one-on-one -on -one personal level you don't have to change the world, but if no, you no, can, no, you know, and stupid. you can't, there's no changing other people. You can't change other people. They have I to want to, I, could. I know, but I know, but oh. Hansel makes Good. you crazy. And, and I well, heard I him too, because I still see, that's what I'm saying is I pay enough attention to allow that. Yeah. And I'm telling you the reason I do it is because what some part of my mind says that if people can think they're not done yet, they can, something can happen. Yeah. You know, and who knows what it'll be, but I mean, for some of us, it's been devastating. Yeah. Divorces, yeah. death in the family. Well, you know, something that's so shocking that it happens in the reality of life, they can't hide it from you anymore. You see how things really work, right up front and personal. Yeah. And it, it changes everything. And But you got to go through the trauma first. Yeah. Hmm? And I, I heard um, on a vi I, all these damn videos that I listen to all the time when I'm puttering around the house, and I heard a line that really, really stuck with me. And it was, if something bothers you to your core, if it really upsets you, that is a lesson meant for you. When it, oh, yeah, when yeah, it yeah. no longer bothers you, yeah, you're done. it's no longer your lesson and you can move on. I saw Kung Fu when I was a kid growing up. I know all that stuff. <laughs> hey, yeah, you know why they killed Bruce Lee? Because Bruce Lee was a very, very intelligent man. That's why they killed him. No, he brought the Eastern um, Kung Fu to the West. Yeah. And broke, and broke their code, trying to share it with people that the, the people that owned it didn't want to have it. Yeah. Mm hmm They put him on TV doing his stuff, and he had, you know, he had his... Uh, mystical ways and he was sharing them with the west and people in the east don't want the west to know it that's how are they going to inoculate you if you know better yeah okay look look at all the negatives from the 60s and the 70s that set us up for this duck fucking shoot they have today uh -huh. it's insane yeah i got telling you i I had somebody claiming to be a doctor tell me vaccinations are good for you when the logic of a vaccination is something that you couldn't fool an eight-year-old with. Well, you could now. You couldn't in my day. Mm. See, and that's that's where I'd, I've had this thought running around in my head, and it, it's basically it's got one of those little pinwheel things, and it catches the breeze and goes, whee! But it runs around in my head and it goes, you know, it started with a lie. Mm. And then one person expanded on that lie. It's like that little thing that we used to do in school where one person would say something and it would go well, all the way around the class and it would be completely time, different. And turn, that's yeah. how everything is the way it is. It, it's not just one lie. It's a lie upon a lie upon a lie upon a lie upon a lie. Sprinkle a little truth in there just to keep people believing some shit and then start the lying over and over and over again. And people just get to the point where they look at it and they go, it's so massive. How do you fix it? The way <laughs> you'd fix it is stop listening to it. Mm. Well, the way I grew up understanding childhood disease as a child, because I get sick and go, hey, what the hell is going on? And my mom would tell me, well, you're going to, this is happening, so your body will build a, a defense against it, and you won't ever get it again. Yeah. Okay, well, that's the generation I come from, 
And now these people are into this pre-thought bullshit where they're going to give this fucking shot to everybody because 10% of them are going to get sick. Wait a minute. You know, where where the, the disease is more uncontrollable in 10% of the kids than it is in the other 90 gets all the attention. Yeah. See, and they use that idea to make people afraid to think that getting a shot is going to prevent it when preventing it is not any better for you than getting it. It's <laughs> how you get it that matters and yes. the fucking mercury in the packaging that will kill you. But here we are with all these brilliant people that can't grasp a simple fucking idea like that. Because it's Stockholm and Syndrome. stuck on stupid. It's Stockholm it's, Syndrome, and some of that is because of all of the vaccines that give you all kinds of neurological damage as an added bonus, but wait, there's more. Soon you will have all kinds of other parts, major components within your body start to break down, but wait, there's more. While this is going on, we're going to sell you something else that will deal with those symptoms but won't fix the problem. Yeah. That's it's a feeding it's a feeding frenzy that just keeps building on itself, and right. when I grew well, that's up, how you they know, market it, but all, how they make it legal is the doctors in Congress that know what this shit will do to you make up a number. If you take less than that, it's within a safety period when there is no safety period for mercury but you no know what mercury in you is good for you in any way there's a lot of, the the people that are doing this are writing the medical textbooks and right. a That's lot of I'm doctors that are waking up to this shit they had no idea either because they weren't taught anything about right. that in medical school so Duh. they're just as much um a, if you wish to say it, victim of this whole bullshit that's being spieled on us. I grew up in an era where they used to have measles parties. You know, someone would yeah, someone would right. say, oh, God, my kids got the measles. measles. And next thing you know, all these mothers are calling saying, can I bring my kids over and get them exposed so we can get this shit out of the way? I mean, that's, that's the kind of... They didn't keep you home from school if you had chicken pox unless you were throwing up or something because everybody needed to contract it and get rid of it before they got older and it became a real problem. So, You know what else you thought made me think of about school, Miss Mary? What's that? If I would have ran around calling people knee, I would have ended up getting a swat on my butt from the principal <laughs> for being a pest. Why are you doing this? Why are you rent? Well, because in 40 years, that's going to be what they want to be called. <laughs> huh? Oh, let's get the good drugs for this child. He's got a problem. He is special. Well, Neat. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> okay, and that's what I mean. We have such a underdeveloped generation. And this is how they're presenting it on the MSM. I don't know. I meet Danish kids, and these Danish kids don't seem like the shit I see on the RLM and uh, YouTube from America. Two different worlds. Yeah. The universities out here, they don't have a bunch of snowflakes crying about free speech. They got people going to school, learning shit. Yeah. I just talked to a kid the other day. He's going to go to college up the road about um, halfway between here and Copenhagen to l learn how to be an electrical engineer. Oh, cool. Well, there you go. Not I'm going to go protest for, you know, MAGTOW. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I saw something about there's going to be a walk, school walkout <laughs> because of guns, whatever, whatever. Oh, jeez. <laughs> See, they got the little the little darlings all trained. In our day, they couldn't do that. Yeah. Your dad would have sent you to school with a fucking gun the next day and told them to send you home. Mm -hmm. You don't like it. Motherfucker, they had shotguns in the windows. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So well, even when my 60s. kids were in school, there were kids yeah. driving to school and, with their pickups. Rifles. And, yeah. yeah and the sh what the fuck? Well, how did 40 years change this into a big mush pie? Those who write the books control the narrative. Well, I understand the narrative, but doesn't common sense still linger amongst 
Well, I guess only a few of us, well, obviously. it used to wow, be well, common sense. Now it's uncommon sense because they, they pummel that out of you one way or another. Do not be a critical thinker. <laughs> Do not ask questions. Just regurgitate what I told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's called, well, why I call it the public education system, because you take it in and you shit it out, and that's pretty much all it's good for. Yeah, you're going to be Farmer Mary out in the back 40 going, I'm just fertilizing stuff. Don't get your knickers in a twist. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get my corn up first before I can do Wait that. Wait till you see me <laughs> dot my eye. <laughs> There's no I in Mary. There is now. <laughs> Actually, I know a Mary that spelled hers with an I, and I spelled I mine with a Y, so, yeah. Um, you should... I was making a pooping in the field joke. I Mary. know you were. I know you were, and my grandchildren used to do that all the time. Mm. You know, because uh, I think there's a little rain man in all of us. Yes, there is, and it's just <laughs> waiting to come out. And in some of us, a lot more than others. I uh -huh. drive real slow around the driveway. <laughs> I'm an excellent driver. <laughs> Keyword sucks. <laughs> I'm telling you, well, Cirque and Alan caught me in, in a, like a Rain Man moment. And I went, wow, I never thought of it like that. Because I like certain things done certain ways. Not all things, but just like a few nitpicky little things and they went god you're just like rain man you freaking weirdo <laughs> oh i'm kind of anal about certain things as well i i refold towels yeah. and you know shit like so that to, so yeah so to not be a dork on the situation i just figured hey maybe you're a dork too <laughs> yeah because you know being a dork all by yourself that gets kind of hey where's the other dorks i'm bored <laughs> <laughs> so, i want someone to laugh at now, my mission in life is to bring the dork out of everybody. Ah. Sure. Why not? Make it a level point. If you can't enjoy this ride, you shouldn't be on it. That's right. And I was reading the chat, and some of these guys really get a kick out of the shit they do. Don, Don C. Uh, uh, had to go back to work and all mm -hmm. that, but it sounded like he made the best of the situation, found something he wants to do, so it's productive. It's yeah. not like, oh, I'm like you. Oh, I got fired from my job, laid off, but whatever the fuck they call this shit. Yeah, you, oh, I'm going to be Farmer I'm gonna be farmer Mary. Yep. There you go. Can you imagine not having the common um, knowledge about yourself to know you could do something other than what you've been doing? And there are people that don't feel skilled and capable and they're, they're – they're like coddled by this illusion of the job that they got and they settle for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause, and I think that is that whole, uh, authorita mindset. Oh my God. But I have, to, I have to, I have to. And my mom was totally freaking, what are you going to do for insurance? Mom, I don't <laughs> use my insurance. There you go. Well, see all the things that led up to the, the event have been in your benefit and you you were intelligent enough at the time to openly look at it without making decisions just taking the information and when you needed it it was there yep well i thought that's how everybody did it i didn't realize me and you were the only two that worked that way oh i think there's more people that work that way and it well it's like i was saying last night it it just damn near floored me Mm -hmm. When the dentist's wife, who is also his receptionist, had said, well, you know, maybe this is just the universe's way of telling you that it's time for a change. And when one door closes, another one opens. And I was like, holy crap, that just came out of Joyce. Holy shit. <laughs> that just floored me. But that that did the whole Acme light bulb moment for me and made me realize that, you know, the people that you don't expect... To mm. actually think along those lines as well, you know, and all they're waiting for is an opportunity to express that. It's like, wow. So I'm, yeah, I'm really, I, the only, I think the only thing that I, right now I am, I'm feeling is, is the, wow, there's more people out there that are going, that's so freaking awesome. You're going to be able to do that. Oh, how cool. Mm -hmm. I'm jealous. You know, it's yeah. like, 
in the long run, yeah, you were freed of something, but at first it's like, hey. It's like having your cookie taken out of your hand by force. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's first my re- cookie. First impulse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but once you think about it, now you're free of holding that cookie. You can go do something different. Yeah. Yeah. And guess what? I won't gain weight from eating that cookie or get cavities from eating that cookie. Oh, brother. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, you can do, once you start looking at benefits, then you can start seeing mm-hmm. all kinds of benefits that you just kind of went, I'd never considered that. How cool. Well, you might find this hard to believe, but gaining weight and cavities have never been two of my biggest problems. <laughs> <laughs> I have serious problems in life besides a little meat and some holes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> anyway. Ah. Well, it gives us something to talk about on the old dork table. True. Because, you know, oh, I got a picture for you. I saved it from earlier today. Because, you know, sometimes, Olive, I like to get Randy. Uh, gu- 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 gu. And I found this. I'm Who's Randy? Ah, uh, who cares? I'm <laughs> the RLM from Mary to Sea. Uh, gu- 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 gu. This is me in the future. Oh, Lord. That's scary. <laughs> I, I saw that on Minds today about killed me. <laughs> okay. I got to check this shit out. Uh, Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, Which one is this? I'm just such a funny guy. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Soikles. I feel so bad for her. (laughs) (laughs) Poor Soikles. What did she do to deserve that? Oh, man. Well, I don't know. She (laughs) sees the, the good side of the pirate somehow. I don't understand it. You know? I think she's a bit of a pirate herself. Oh, not really. Nah, oh. she's too nice. She wouldn't last five minutes. Oh, see, and it's like I said, you know, when, when you're nice to people that are normally not nice, you can really mess with their heads. Because then they yeah, go, like what? See, see, last week we hit four years I've been living here in Denmark with her. Uh-huh. And in couple of months with four years we've been you know legally living together so wow what an interesting world oh legally legally yeah well because you got to play this fucking legal game to do things in life where they don't let you so what i bet you about all the fucking time i just do as much as i have to and then i go well, okay i'm done and they after that they just don't bother me no more. It's a miracle. Just like everywhere else I've ever been. It's magic. So, Fuck uh, you. I repel the state. The state just fucking hates me. They don't even look at me. They don't even want nothing. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you're snorting. <laughs> uh, that's right. I can't Personate many people. You know, one of of my favorite all-time posts is, I've ever done of all of them. What? Is Barney Fife doing the U.S. Constitution preamble. Oh, Lord. You know, he's bragging to to Andy. Well, yeah, I learned it in school. You know, well, I'm a smart fella, and once you learn something, it sticks there. And then they sit there for three minutes, and... And Andy has to feed him every word of the thing. And they get to the end and he says, see, I told you, once you learn it, you never forget. <laughs> and he didn't remember one word of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I challenge all, I challenge these legal people out there to recite this shit that they stand behind. You know? I don't. I can't. I don't know anything about the U.S. Constitution or the Bill of Fucking Rights or any of that shit because I never took any of it serious in the first place. You want to know why? Why? You, you're not going to like the story about why it takes me back to being really young. But okay. I, I had run away from home when I was about 12. So anyway, I'm coming. I'm coming back south in Oregon on U.S. One hitchhiking. And uh-huh. the guy that picked me up, we got pulled over because I was driving his car. <laughs> and anyway, the the cop 
I said, well, you look a little bit young, and I wouldn't tell him who I was. So when he took me to the jail, he started hitting the table next to me with his baton mm-hmm. and loose, loosened up my mouth about where I'm, where, who I was and where I was from. Uh-huh. And, it taught, and it taught me then, hey, these people will threat. How do you know he was going to hit me with it? I didn't, you know, I didn't want to push it any further than that. I was a little bit still young-ish, not quite ready to take on the man yet. You know, so I gave them my information and all that, and it's a kind of a long story. Anyway, so they they put me in this uh, facility for a couple of weeks, pending travel documents to go back to L.A., and they got this big, gigantic cop to take me back, and he sits with me on the plane. They couldn't legally handcuff me. This is where I got found my advantage. Anyway, so this guy was so freaking enormous. When we got into the crowd, I got behind him. And took off. <laughs> went back on, yeah, went right back to where they found me again. <laughs> ah. I didn't want to go home. But, you know, I. It, it's just strange that, you know, they threatened me. They put me in jail. They did this. And the first chance I got to evade them again, I took it. And I wasn't even 13 yet. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I, I've all my life been like, Fuck this system. Man, these people are nuts. They're all trying to kill me. You've always been a problem child. Yeah, always. Yeah, I got I got a uh, living relative to, you know, to verbally uh, back all that shit up, too. I uh, will let them talk to you some other time uh, off the radio program. But, uh-huh. yeah. Well, some people aspire and, you know, and show their strengths in strange areas. Mine was... Telling people to fuck off before I knew what fuck off meant. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, and it's followed me all this way, all these years. And and at the end of the game, it looks like I was right all along. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, could have been me that had, you know, put 20 years into a job and gone to it and gone, hey, see ya. We're done with you. Wait a minute. What do you mean? What? Men are men are different, you know. We're more sensitive when it comes to cutting those ties. So I never got those ties installed. <laughs> ah. Yeah. People tell me to leave. I get the fuck out and go somewhere else. Who gives a shit? Seven billion people on planet Earth. You're bound to find somebody that likes you if you just keep going. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. That's why they say there's stone. plenty of fish That's... in the sea. You just got to keep. Well, yeah. And then and see, and then life took me to meet Cirque, who is so much like me. It's not believable in some ways, but uh, from a completely different culture to, you know, in her culture, she's, um, I guess, a, what would you call her? A free thinker. She's not she's outside of the box and she'll tell people she's got an anarchist position. You know, because they'll try to put her in a box at work every now and again. Oh, you're this side, or oh, you're that side. No, I'm not. I'm neither side. Mm. What? Well, just neither side. I li- I like not picking sides. When you it's pick so... sides, you're rather limited on on you know yeah, your window you're licking stuck abilities. In a box. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, even my wife won't. She won't commit to any of that crap. But. She plays the game, job, game, taxes, game, blah, 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 shit. But her core being is me. Mm. Yeah, I just don't have the patience or the interest to go into the corporate world and actually do anything with it. I'd get fired in about eight seconds. (laughs) (laughs) Why would that not surprise me? Uh, because you've done the radio with me long enough to know I don't say okay to make uh, friends, let alone money. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. my buddy Don told me years ago in Florida, son, don't ever do for money what you're not willing to do for free. He said it'll make you happier. I went. He goes, well, you might go hungry here and there, but you'll never be miserable. You yeah. Know? So try to think ahead and not get yourself stuck in holes you can't get out of. Carry a little, you know, what did he call it? Um, he called it case money. Always stash, it, stash a little case money just in case you miss a meal and you get hungry. 
You know, shit like that. Simple yeah. fucking ideas that when I was young enough, they took root and I went, hey, bleh, you're not going to live forever, but you might wake up tomorrow, have enough money to get started. Yeah. And I always have and always will. Okay. Grimmy has a question for you. Ooh. How exactly does one fuck off and what does the process involve? Um, the I'm process, curious as well. How I see it, it, it's the same as the government uh, apologizing to me for lying about cannabis for 80 years. But that how how does off. one fuck off? I don't know. I'm making something up and you're still questioning it. Damn I'm, you. Yes, I am because, you <laughs> My know. My answer isn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I want to know how one fucks off yeah. as I opposed to fucking that. on. And is there a difference between fucking off and fucking on? Well, at this time, I'm going to resort to my friend Sly and get a little advice. So I call Sly over here and ask him. And Sly says, <laughs> And that's how one fucks off. Oh, okay. I understood every bit of that. <laughs> Yeah, you've been to those Rocky movies. You know, you know who my my, my wife likes. <laughs> what? Sylvester oh. Stallone. Yeah, <laughs> you want to know in which movie? <laughs> which one? First Blood. Oh, good lord! The one where he takes on the whole military and by himself and wins. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> well, well, sad. No, 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 no. That's not true. Well, you know, if you're gonna have a fantasy, make it a good one. Right, but I mean, come on! Look at the the false information they give us to grow up on. You know, they show you things that could never fucking happen in a realistic fashion, but you just saw it happen, so your mind catches. Hey, I saw it happen. It's possible, but your 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 common sense goes, "Come on, you're fooling yourself," and then you're fighting over with yourself about an illusion. And I believe that is the process that they use to keep us all scattered and against each other. Movies and TV and MSN and different religions and different this. and di As long as it's different. So here me and Cirque are complete fucking different. Mm -hmm. and, we found, and we found middle ground. How, how the hell did we do that when governments have been doing it for thousands of years and always end up in war? Why is it people can get together and work things out but governments can't because governments are fictitious entities and it's not in the script for them ah, to get along the figured it oh you dirty girl i you, am wow you've exposed the lion to be what it really is you know it's uh -huh. not a lion right yeah i know it's a little tiny cat ah it's an illusion in your head well i don't know how to clearly explain it to anybody else because they themselves are in their own illusion and that dictates their reality so uh, so I think so basically what you're saying the lion is just a little pussy having a hissy fit yes yeah, and i've been and and see and people me too we have been raised with the fear of things we can't understand if you don't understand it fear it yeah or attack it, or yeah. pick on it, or irritate, but don't just let it be, see? And I think that maybe after all these years, maybe maybe McCartney was right, the fucking fake. I, I think doggies have it figured out. Let it be, yeah. They just sniff each other's ass and go out and find a bone. Yeah, hey, that doesn't well, sound like a good time to me, though. <laughs> no, but doggies just kind of go out, and you know, if if something just doesn't smell right, then they piss on it, kick grass on it, and move on. Well, see, piss on it. But I've heard all the resistance from other people over the years about I have responsibilities; I can't leave them behind me. Okay, then don't. Then suffer with your responsibilities and quit whining about it. Go find, you know, go on with your life. But maybe there's another way to deal with those responsibilities. But once again, here comes in the, 
having the drilled out of you critical thinking aspect. Uh, oh, we cannot what, do yeah. that. You cannot yeah. have an imagination and think outside the bubble that you're walking no. around in. Because it makes you a weirdo. I know. I like being a weirdo, weirdo. Mm. Well, I don't know if it's a matter of like or not. I think I just accept that society, no matter what I do or don't do, I always am going to be uh, received as what I am. I've done the short hair and suit thing, and I don't think people treated me in person any differently than they do as I am now. Mm. You know, it's kind of funny. People do... Mm. May, and it may just be my per my experience, but I've had people treat me differently depending on how I was dressed or how I presented myself or, you know, before mm -hmm. I had blue and purple hair, people treated me different. Well, we're, all right. But you're OK. Here's the first thing is you're female, right? Uh -huh. I'm male. There is a damn difference in the way society treats the man to the woman or there is from the time we came from. OK. Yeah. Then on top of it, I have what people interpret as an imposing uh, behavior. I don't know. The way I, I handle myself physically makes them, whoa. You have an aura. Yeah, yeah well, because I, I sound like on the, on the radio and the phone and whatnot. They go, wow, I thought you were like six foot tall. And God damn, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> are, He's you hiding here, behind right? that iris voice. leaf. He's a little garden gnome. Right, but see, but I'm just a little tiny guy, but I've got a loud, booming, and, you know, and an imposing entrance way about me. And I don't know why. Just from all those years of being um, tortured for being small, instead of feeling bad about it, I just went, oh, okay, so what? I show you small motherfucker. <laughs> and to this day, I've never let go of that. I can handle myself. No, don't you worry about me, son. You worry about you. <laughs> uh. And I think over the years, as society softened and gotten weaker, my strength has gotten bigger. Well. And it's interpreted. Yeah, they don't know what they're looking at because they're not raised. They weren't raised the way we were. Our day was different. Our struggles were not their struggles. They're, they got everything on a fucking cell phone. They don't really know they're, they're strapped to this phone like a, a, like a slave. They think it's their um, lifeline and, you know, to, to freedom, and it's really not. It's a chain to keep you down. And yeah. you know what I, I saw today when I went to town, Miss Mary? What's that? Well, there was a bunch of teenagers, girls and boys, at the church outside in the snow having a snowball fight. The girls again, the boys. Hmm, snowball fight. I'd much rather have a pillow fight because, although yeah, snowball well, fights I'm can sure be fun. Yeah, I'm would have, but it was a fucking church and there was snow on the ground. I could have offered pillows, but I don't think I could have afforded it. And that would have defeated the whole purpose of church anyway. Mm -hmm. No, they were having, I'm saying, that's what I mean. Instead of these kids are sneaking off to go fuck somewhere and do heroin, they're having a snowball fight at the freaking church in the middle of the day. Well, and they... all the adults are all just standing around laughing at the kid that got hit with the snowball. I've never lived in a city that was so fucking innocent in my whole life. I, I don't, part of me doesn't get it. Because well... I stand there and go, wow, these people are just having fun throwing snow at each other. Good God, that would be a riot where I'm from because we didn't have snow. It had rocks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but see, that's that's going out there and enjoying and appreciating what the Creator has given us. You know, if, if it's going to snow, have fun with it. Yeah, but in the city back in Copenhagen, even they're starting to clamp down on safety and shit uh, like that. You know, yeah, well, you that, can overdo the safety shit. The, well, the EU has a strong... Even though Denmark isn't a... They're an EU member, enough to fuck the country up, but not so deep that it ruined it. Hmm. They're far enough away. Well, they didn't get into the money system, so they got their own money, which gives them a freedom from the EU that a lot of countries don't have. 
Like all this big crap they're making about Brexit for England. Best yeah. thing the English could do is get the fuck out of the EU. It'll save them. Well, yeah, it's they should have the Groucho Marx attitude. I don't want to be a member of a group that would have me as a member. <laughs> right, but they're conning the public with the, the the possibilities of what could go wrong if they can't have global trade and get their Chinese shirts. You yeah. Know, instead of being local and self-sufficient, we've been hustled into this global necessity. Oh, you can get your this from that country and your that from this country instead of being self-sufficient. It's a con job. Well, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, the global economy will collapse if everybody ju started being self-sufficient. No, it would not. I mean, maybe yeah, the global, grow. but oh, the economy wouldn't, because if people were self-sufficient, then they would support their local economy. You know, I heard the dumbest economic comment today. What's that? Somebody was referring to the U.S. national debt and saying this, we owe it to ourselves. No, you don't. The Rothschilds are not yourselves, you dumb fuck. <laughs> you owe that to a foreign bank. Yeah. $20 trillion. These people own you from the fucking balls up. And you think you owe the U.S. government. It's They say they own us, but p pissle. Pisser, pisser, okay, pisser. Okay, well, society, that's the nature of, okay, if you don't see it in America, I saw that kid get shot, not get shot, but I saw the results of that local kid to you getting murdered by the police. And if that doesn't strike you as hard as it, I told you. Yeah. And when it happened, it struck me so much harder than it struck you that I can't even, I can't get you to see my side of, of what I'm trying to say because you jump on defending the idea. And I'm trying to tell you is the force is so, it's been done so well over such a long period of time that in the city, most people don't know they're chained to anything. They really think they're free, Mary. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking to you about them like gossipy shit. You know, like my opinion about somebody I don't really know from seeing the results of the information I am given. See, and I don't, I don't recall ever supporting or whatever, but, well, you, but well, I, well, I see well, a lot of the, the after effect of what's been going on with that. And now they've got a Joey's Law here in the state. And to Which me, that what, oh, fucking yeah, yeah. Joey law, the only thing that that does is now mm. the state can step in and say, you're a special needs person. Wow. Yeah, but that's it, what it is. It's, it's, okay, it's, and that's what I mean. It, things that would happen in a big city, and I don't know, I've not been around Europe, and in, in, uh, I don't care for the, just the idea of Europe makes me squirmy. I'm not attracted to the... European life, the Scandinavian life, yeah, Ooh. but the the European crap and nah doesn't do it. It's like the states; it's too controlled, and they're looking to make it bigger instead of keeping it manageable. And I I found that here, they're not looking to grow; they're looking to sustain. And it it looks really bad on paper because they don't want uh, they don't want the refugees here and shit like that. You know, mm -hmm. and it does. Oh, it makes them look bad to all the lefties and then all the righties that are making money off it are probably pissed off, too. But the goal here is not necessarily for growth. It's for sustenance to sustain. Yes. And to get along and get by. But where there's greed, there's trouble, like in Copenhagen, you know, because that's where the bulk of the greedy, sloppy. I want more fucking people are at. Yeah. Because that's what the city does. It brings that side out of you. And then you compete and try to ruin other people's lives so you can get a bigger house. See, and the only thing that I want more of is things that you can't buy. Oh, you have so much of that. You probably make people jealous. You've got so much more than your average bear. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, spoiled yeah. rotten. Big time. Oh, fuck yeah. But you're sensitive enough, sensitive enough to know that the world is in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. 
and telling people the medicine is bad for you, it's just harsh. It, all these things that we know are just harsh. But to have a remedy. See, I don't have a remedy for banking is bad for you. Okay, what do you do? Well, stop using it. How? Oh, well, there you go. Because <laughs> um, hmm. so, once, yeah, well, yeah, but once you're in it, you can't unget in it. You're in it. Yeah. There's no sign off clause. You got to not start it to ever make it impossible to get in it. You got to not do it. That's the part they didn't tell people. That if you don't want to participate on our finance level, not millionaires, they, they got to do that. That's their responsibility. See, business owners, not people working to survive, that kind of shit. They, they changed the freaking definition of income so that they could legally tax the working class. It's insane. It's sickening. And then if you try to look these things up and find them, they're burying them and erasing them from the world so you can't find out the truth. Yeah. We're running out of t- and they're going to take YouTube down, not because of anything that, that they're telling you, is there's too much knowledge on there. They want nobody... They, okay, enough people seen this. Let's stop this before they figure it out. Oh, yeah. And there's, yeah, some of the best videos that I, like. Mm-hmm. well, like I said last night, I really should have downloaded them onto my computer because it's like, damn it. I really, really, you know, and they, they probably weren't real, you know, mind shakers or anything like that for anybody else. But for me, Hmm. they were great big Acme light bulb moments. And so on a personal level, they really, Mm -hmm. really hit home. And when I found that they were disappeared, it's like, ah. Yeah. ah." That's why I always harp on it's subjective too. But still, it will attract a certain kind of person to it that will maybe not know for a while, but it's, like you go with your seed planting crap. Uh huh. I'm an all or nothing kind of guy, so I really have a lot of trouble with that idea. I, I never do that. I'm either doing it or I ain't doing it. Ain't no thinking about it or all. We'll see. It's yes or no. Too old to be thinking about what I'm going to do next week. Is it next week? No. Then shut the fuck up. What are we doing now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, hey. I'm not a child anymore. I know this. I'm well over halfway to the end of the whatever this is. Yeah. And and I'm not so selfish that I only want it to be good for me. I just really don't know how to make it good for people that have been abused in every level of life and don't know it. And and when you tell them, think that you're insane. It's hard. It, it's a hard place to be because I know what they're thinking and why they're thinking it. And there's no rebuttal. They just ain't there yet. It's, I call it desperate enough. Yeah. When you're desperate enough to change something, your humanity will kick in. And they hijack that word, too. But something about us as people, as life forms, we're tenacious. But if you're never given an opportunity to prove it, it dies, I think. Yeah, you know, it's, it has to be nurtured and developed and used or you never know you even have it. Well, yeah, your mind is like a garden and and every little bit of information is just a seed that gets planted in there. And what what you water, what you fertilize, yeah. what you yeah. feed that will grow yeah. and what yeah. others water and fertilize and feed a lot of times will push out what you f- initially found was beneficial <laughs> Simply because it was easier to just let someone else do the weeding. And, and you know, it's life is not going to be easy all the time. There is no such critter as an easy button. I don't care what those damn commercials say. <laughs> I don't know. It's all your matter of how you interpret that, too. Yeah. Because you know? I you... can take the toughest thing and make it and do it and go, that ah, wasn't that hard. It was just getting off my butt and going to do it. Yeah. It might have been inconvenient or a little took longer than I thought. But at the end of the thing, it's never as as devastating to me as other people seem to make it sound. I just go try it. And yeah. If I fail, I fail. So what? At least I tried. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if I would have never pursued Cirque and gone back and said, hey, 
did you, you know, whatever I said to her that got her attention started with me telling her, I think you're full of shit. You, nobody's that nice. And had I not ever said that to her and then followed up with, hey, are you that nice? Really? I might never have found out. Maybe that was the whole thing is my tenacity to finish something I start. Yeah. Yeah. I like to see what comes of life. You know, what's going to happen? Uh, yeah, but I don't worry about the results and I don't plan ahead. I just enjoy what does happen or I, you know, don't enjoy it, whatever the case. Like the weather's been shitty lately, so I'm kind of ogre But it'll pass, and it'll be sunny and warm, and I'll be complaining because it's too hot because I'm a Jew. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can't win with Jews. We're like that, Miss Mary. I've been meaning to tell you. <laughs> well, see, that's why I just don't play. If I, I know, know well, that the game is rigged, oh, I just that, yeah. try to back away. And you Jewy bastards. <laughs> I know. Well, you can't just blame the Jews. You got to blame the Catholics too for allowing. See what happened is the the Catholics borrowed usury from the Jewish people. It's like blackmail from us to them that they they've got no right to use it without our permission, so to speak. It's real higher uppity muckety muck shit that the normal guy doesn't think could ever happen. And see, there you go. Key phrase, doesn't think. And that's, you know, every time you point the finger of blame at someone else, you got three fingers pointing back at yourself. And the, oh, reason, the reason that is really pertinent here is because every time we get some information, our gut tells us if it's right or not. I believe that, yeah. I and do. if you go along with it, even though your gut is saying something's fishy here, and you still go along with it, you got to accept some of the blame. Absolutely. Sure. And you know what? We are at the end of the dork table. You lucky fuckers! Yeah. Hey. Yeah. That was fun. I had a nice rant today, Miss Mary. Yes, you did. The place. We you... had moose and squirrel. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> squirrel! <laughs> I, still think, I still think you and moose should do a show and call it moose and squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I you am most definitely blind, the squirrel in that equation. Yeah, it's just the names just fit so good. And how how many chances are gonna you gonna ever get to do that? <laughs> 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 well, now you have plenty of time too, though. Wow. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. People say that, and no, I really don't. I have so many projects, and now <sighs> I understand. With my mother, she said I'm retired and I'm busier than ever. I understand, <laughs> and I've only been at this a few days, and I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Well, good. Keep us posted on how things go and you know, we'll just continue. Things will be all right. I will do that if, and as once we, I start getting have, the garden put in, I'll be posting pictures and stuff. But Yeah, and when when we have to change, we'll change the weekday or something. Who cares? Huh? I don't care when we do this. It's just this just worked out for the two of us cuz Saturday was open most of the time. Mhm. Mm Yep. We'll adjust. Yeah, we'll Thanks, figure something everybody. out. Cowboy yep. tech. Hey. Thanks, y'all, for listening in. And be sure to check back because there's always something else going on here <laughs> in the RLM. And tomorrow, once again, at noon. And, yeah, don't forget to set your clocks. Nah. Damn it. But at noon, Eastern Time, Grimmy with the Blues, closely followed by Hal Anthony and that whoop-ass thing, if you're into that kind of... <laughs> He was into whips and things. Okay, yeah, it's behind the woodshed. And then tomorrow evening, Gary Ellen Gigi's boo with The Road Less Traveled. So, grand time will be had by all. Um, and I won't be around for the rest of the weekend. Cause